Neil, at six tonight, during the long months that we've had to wear those masks under mandates, the Central Coast saw an uptick of PPE pollution along the Central Coast. KION's Erica Bertin is taking another look at the issue and checking if people have been better about discarding their mask. These masks and gloves have become a part of our daily lives over the past year, and it shows. Signs of the pandemic are littered across some of our favorite outdoor locations instead of ending up where they belong, in the trash. Environmentalists say although it's good to protect ourselves from COVID-19 with all of the personal protective equipment available, there's some concern over those items being left behind. Items which could possibly cause harm to our Monterey Bay and its marine life. The executive director of Save Our Shores says although they haven't seen a significant increase in sightings of scattered PPE waste, there's some reasoning as to how things like masks and gloves end up littered around. Sometimes those loose masks and gloves drop while fumbling through a pocket or purse. I think, you know, early on people were discarding them because they didn't want to touch trash cans or, you know, touch anything. And Regardless, like any trash that ends up in the water, it will start to decompose to some extent. As the pieces get smaller, that's when we see everything from plankton to whales scooping up this microplastic and digesting it. Well, if too much plastic is consumed by marine life, experts say it can be fatal to animals in the ocean. For instance, masks that balloon out can almost look like a delectable jellyfish to sea turtles. But experts say PPE waste is just one piece of a bigger pollution problem, with syringes and fishing gear also being littered without regard for a healthy ocean life. Our ocean and our climate are the two most important interrelated systems that allow life on Earth. When you discard of a mask, just remember they're not recyclable, so don't put them in the recycling bin. Reporting in Monterey, Erica Bratin, KION News Channel 5, 46.